Hey everyone. Well, here's my final entry in the 555 contest, my fuel injector tester based on two 555 timer chips. It uses uh, the monostable circuit and it also uses the A-stable circuit. The monostable circuit is on this side. It puts out a single pulse which goes to the A-stable circuit. The A-stable circuit is what outputs the pulse train through this MOSFET and to the fuel injector. 12 volts comes in here runs through the circuit and gets output there as per the circuit. So in the other videos you got to see the ins and outs of how all that works and today I'm going to package this thing all up, take it up to my car, connect it up and show that it works for its intended purpose. Alright, all packaged up, nice labels on everything so we can see what uh, does what. Alright, a quick demo on the bench here. Uh, the power's on, you can see the lights lit up. I've got uh, pigtail connectors for the fuel injectors, Molex type connectors, and I just make a pigtail for each type that I use. This is Asian. Uh, here's another one I made for German imports. I need to come up with a few for some domestics, but let's connect this one for now. And we'll give it a quick check on the bench here. The pulse duration is set at one second. And it can also run for five seconds. Or, if I switch this to uh, constant, if I hold the button down, I can go longer than five seconds. And there you have it. Let's go put it on a car now and see how it works. Hey, it's a beautiful sunny day here in North Carolina and I'm ready to test my fuel injector tester. I've got the fuel pressure gauge hooked up, I have the tester connected, and now we'll show you how this thing works. Okay, the fuel system is pressurized. You can see about 45 pounds in the gauge there. I have the injector tester set to a single pulse of one second. And when I push the button, you'll see the pressure drop as it bleeds off fuel and pressure into the injector I have connected. You know, that was about a 25 pound drop. Now what you would do is you would repeat this test with other injectors and compare them. And if they all show the same, then you know the injectors are in fair shape. Sometimes when a car's been parked for a long time, the injectors will get clogged up, and this tool will help you determine which one needs to be replaced without having to pull them all out. This could also be used in the continuous mode to hook it up under a condition where you could bleed the fuel into a jar and measure the volume of fuel and balance the injectors that way if you were out for performance and wanting to have each injector delivering the same amount of fuel. Awesome, this thing really works, and I just proved it right here on my own car. This is great. I had a lot of fun building this project. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with it. And I'm going to enter this in the 555 contest. If you're interested in that, it's www.555contest.com. Check it out. There's uh, the rules there, the deadlines for entry, and all that stuff. I learned so much building this one. I learned about 555 timer circuits. I learned about using Zener diodes to protect uh, MOSFETs. I learned how to use a MOSFET for switching. I learned about uh, capacitors to protect IC chips. And uh, I was even inspired to make my own printed circuit board for this thing and learned how to do that using a laser printer and transfer the toner, that whole technique. I was even inspired to make a 555 t-shirt. These are available on www.cafepress.com forward slash DinoFab. I'll post the links to all this stuff uh, in the video and you can check out my webpage www.dinofab.com for more projects in the future. I hope you visit often and have fun while you're there. Well, what's next? I wonder if I can make one of these out of an Arduino and put a little LCD display with some potentiometers to change the pulse. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think it's working. I had a lot of fun building this thing. I learned a lot about the curve. 